It's time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Gavin, as the guys mentioned, you've been yep. an integral part of this organization pretty much since you arrived in 2001. I want to know, first of all, how you ended up in Portland. Uh, a player. As a player. <laughs> so came to the Timbers when they were in the USL and uh, a coach by the name of Bobby Howe. Um, Obviously, at that stage, I needed a club, and uh, the Timbers seemed like a great fit. There was uh, one other option in the U.S., and I, it just felt right at that stage. And since being in Portland, I've definitely made the right decision. So, You mentioned Bobby Howe. How, yep. What was it like playing for him? What are some things you took away from him? Just a tremendous gentleman, obviously, very knowledgeable about the sport, but uh, what I would say, just a, a tremendous guy. There was a, a Bobby, there was Jimmy Conway. And both parts of Timbers history, and Jimmy yeah. Conway was obviously very uh, integral in developing Oregon Youth Soccer Association, which is now one of our partners uh, within the right. youth game, but both great people, both with uh, the game in, in their heart. And what was your first impression of the city when you got here? Had you heard anything about Portland before arriving? Yeah, you do your homework, <laughs> you, you start to look at it. But is at this that before stage, the internet? No. Yeah. <laughs> it was... Uh, it was possible to find a little bit of information, but that's before they, they had even played a season. So right. 2001 was their first season in the USL, and other than that, you're looking at what they were previously, which obviously has a lot of strong history, and, and the club already had uh, a good foundation within the community. But being here in 2001 and seeing where it is now, obviously we've taken the sport to another level within this state, and it's something that we're all behind. But again, I, I never thought it could be what it is now. Yeah, I wanna know, when did you know that this was not just gonna be a stop in your playing career? When did you know that you and your wife, Heather, were gonna yeah. stay? I think when I was playing, I, I always had the ambitions to get onto the, the business side of the sport. I, I formed a youth club, which is a now a Timbers Alliance club called Eastside Timbers, and learning more and more about the business side and what it takes to make a, a soccer club tick led me to where I am now, which uh, in 2006 was an assistant coach, 2007 a GM and head coach, and quickly found out that head coaching really wasn't for me. And I, I think Ross will speak about that a little bit. <laughs> but it, it's, I was always drawn to the business side and how to make things work and how to put together you know, programs as such. And uh, naturally being drawn to that part, it started to, to open up the world that I'm in now. And with Merit uh, buying the organization and uh, having the vision of MLS and making that possible, has given me the opportunity to continue to grow and develop and uh, hopefully continue to be successful. So you actually did coach Ross Smith, our mm -hmm. uh, broadcaster over there. Yeah. And I mean, and there are a number of other guys that came here to play and yeah. maybe left or, or never left. Andrew yeah. Greger, Aiden Brown, Cam Knowles. Yeah. What is it about you know, this organization that you think so many people who came ended up not wanting to leave? I think it's more the environment. I, yeah. You know, you hope to give yourself a lot of credit, but it's the club, it's the community, it's Portland, it's our fans. It, it's, they make it feel like home. So a lot of it is when a player is a part of the community and they feel so accepted that they want to continue to give back and they want to be in the community. I think with all the players that you've mentioned, you know, they felt connected. And when you're able to work with a player and when you're able to see what they're like in, like day in, day out, you're able to say, okay, they're, they'd fit this club culture or they wouldn't. And, you know, some of the folks that have stayed around are, are definite fits for the organization. And I, I think when they experience the organization, they've been a part of it and they're willing to work hard, you end up getting a little bit more in return. And before you go, you just mentioned it a few minutes ago, East Side Timbers, yep. the youth club you helped yep. form. Your it was only your second year in Portland, 2002. Yep. You know, what was the motivation at that point? I think as a professional athlete in the USL, I needed something else to fill in my spare time, and uh, it, it was where the game was at. It, it was also having to create a career pathway that could be uh, long-lasting, and it, it was also exploring a different part of the game and a different part of the business, and it just made sense, and the club's still around. It's financially very stable. They're building facilities. They're giving back to the environment. They're helping develop young players. They're affiliated with the Timbers. So it's been a positive for everyone and we have many Alliance clubs that uh, have similar stories but it's just being involved in the game and being invested in the game. And lastly, I mean from 2001 to now, yep. could, do you think you could have even imagined what your career has led you to and everything that's come, the Thorns, yeah. T2, the youth clubs, the partnerships, you know, just where this organization is, could you ever imagine? Um, uh, very tough, very, yeah. very tough. I think there, there's trials and tribulations through that. There's highs and lows. And I, I, I would stay committed to the, the fact that 
if you know what you're doing and you work hard and you've got good people that you work with and they've all got a similar pathway, then, then great things are possible. And that's been shown with the timber success, with the joining of Caleb in 2013 to where we are now and we've put ourselves in a great position and also with the Thorns and, and the direction of the brands and everyone on the business side as well supporting the soccer side and working collectively to, to have success. Well Gavin, thank you so much for coming on and for all you do for all of the teams at our organization. Good luck this week in Houston. Thank you.